What does one do when other normal ways of savings are out of your reach? Well, this is how gold and silver saved me. As you know, not everyone was born with a silver spoon. I want to start off with saying that, of course, many people in the world just don't understand silver and gold. Many don't realize that it has been money for longer than probably any other type of money. Silver and gold are engraved into economies. Uh, they're part of families. They're, they're part of artwork. But that isn't what, I'm, what this video is about. Uh, it's about how precious metals have saved me. And you're all welcome to tell your story in the comments. Hi, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I do hope you're doing well. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. And as I mentioned, this video is how silver and gold have saved me. Many people have different levels of credit, many different incomes, and I know it's hard for some people to open a bank account even. Some people don't trust banks. As, as you know, historically, banks have failed. Many banks have cheated. Uh, everyone knows the Wells Fargo uh, scandal. So what is an alternative? Well, for me, it has been precious metals. For as I said, they are real money. There was a time when my financial situation wasn't too good. You know, it was uh, really bad, actually. I had gotten a divorce, and yes, she took half and put me in a lot of debt. So I really couldn't, I couldn't use banks. I needed to save money, and the best way I could was buying silver and gold. I did this little by little, and silver played a big part because the beauty of silver over gold is that it's less expensive. And I needed something less expensive at that time. As you know, the dollar loses value, so putting it under my mattress wasn't going to work for me. Also, I was the type of guy that would spend money if I saw it in my bank account or under my mattress. I just didn't have the discipline, you know, the self-control to save. Buying silver and gold made it so that I had a store of wealth that I couldn't just go to like an ATM and get money out of it. I actually had to go to an LCS or an online dealer to sell my silver and gold. And that little extra hassle helped me save, you know, to build my savings. It put me on the right track. And as my financial situation got better, I had my own bank of silver and gold. So I could start funding my other investments. I had an emergency fund of silver and gold. At that time, the banking system closed me out because of debt uh, caused by the divorce. My credit score had crashed, but silver and gold being real money, it was there for me. It was giving me the opportunity to move forward. Now, if you watch other channels, I'm not sure if I can mention them, but like Guido Stacking, Savage Stacker, Silver Bean Counter, and, and countless others, they have shared their stories on how silver and gold helped them all out in a tough situation. I know that it has worked for me and many people other than myself. I'm not saying that silver and gold are the answer to all of your financial problems because it isn't. But it is something out there, something outside of the financial system that can be a good asset when normal ways of savings are out of your reach. And I am a big preacher about diversifying your finances. But with that said, sometimes you might not have the requirements to diversify, at least for a short moment in your life. So remember, there is more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. Now, I do hope this video was of help for some of you. I know not everyone falls on hard times. Some are born with that silver spoon, but some must buy that silver spoon. I know I had to buy mine. Please let me know in the comments if uh, silver and gold have helped you out in a tough situation. I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as I always, always say, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.